Well, yes, you can. You can do anything, 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 anything. Yes, you can. Oh. Finished up the Storm of the Bluffs, 17 kilometer trail race today. Um, excellent weather. You know, the trails were in really good shape. You know, they were fairly dry and absolutely gorgeous. Give you some thoughts about kind of the race and how things went. Like, I'm glad we're doing this now because, you know, <laughs> I usually forget kind of all the details. Um, uh, oh, first of all, I want to give a huge shout out to a friend of mine who uh, came out to support me um, and see me off, actually. She was um, originally scheduled to run the 5K uh, and unfortunately um, got injured and she's smarter than me and she decided to, uh, to hold off on this race. Um, you know, heal up and, and she'll be back. I saw her when, when I was warming up there, just kind of jogging around. And it was just so good to see her. You know, really lifted my spirits, you know, uh, when I found out that she wasn't gonna run the race, um, you know, it hit me deep, man, you kept me deep. But um, I'm glad you were there, you know who you are. So thank you so much for your support and showing up. Um, you'll be out there and kick my butt next time. <laughs> But you worry. <laughs> you know, these small races, they're just so much fun. The first three quarters of a mile was um, a fairly decent climb on a gravel road that kind of led into a bit more of a rockier service road that, uh, you know, I have a tendency to, from the gun, go out way too hard, way too fast, and then I, I hit the wall at some point, and then lo and behold, you know, whatever, you get into that survival mode. So I really try, okay, and then the other thing about, and this may not always apply, but for me, it's in my experience, um, especially for some of these trail runs, typically you can kind of see the hills coming, right? Like you know that there's some work that's about to have, have to be done to get up this thing. Versus like a slow, insidious, you know, four or five percent that just kinda, you know, it doesn't hit you until it's too late. This one, you know, you, you see it coming, you can prepare for it, you know it's gonna hurt. And so you just kinda steady yourself, control your pace, control your breathing, and just, and just dive in. I was running with a pack, kind of towards the front and you know we uh we were just kind of working together going up the going up that little hill there got to the top there's you know oh my gosh these volunteers these volunteers of these races guys are phenomenal oh my goodness um, my hats are off to them have one of those super awesome people at the top of this climb telling us which way to go <laughs> and then i would say overall that was probably one of the more aggressive climbs, which is nice because it was right away. You know, we just got it done. The energy was still good. Peaked over this thing and it kind of flattened out for a while, um, up and down again on this service road. And then eventually they kind of branched off. Um, so things kind of smoothed out. You know, this, um, this lady that passed me, uh, we, <laughs> you know, we were definitely uh, pulling each other along. We were working together. Um, we got to a point, this course uh, started to switch back onto itself. Uh, a lot of tight turns, a lot of, a lot of single track. Um, oh, and the other thing, because the leaves have fallen in Minnesota, the uh, single track was completely covered in leaves. And um, I'm not brave enough to be running in the middle of that. So I was up on the sides, really, where it's a little bit squishier and a little bit at an angle. Um, but I, you know, was able to see it, so can prepare for the footing there. Uh, fortunately, did not have any uh, footing issues uh, at that point. 
seeing this lady switching back and forth, you know, we kept on having little peekaboo uh, sights of each other. And I kind of tagged, latched onto her um, <laughs> as like uh, the person that, you know, is going in front of me. And uh, just as long as I stay, keep her in my sights, then I, sh I know I'm good. And it became, that became extra important when um, we started to double back on um, other people that were running the same race. You know, they were kind of getting into view. So, uh, it, you know, it was a little confusing. Uh, you know, we should see the Strava map and this just basically all, you know, ribbon candy, ribbon candy style on top of each other. <laughs> she told me this later on in the race. She's like, I kept on seeing you and I was pretty, I was sure you're gonna pass me. And uh, I got a chuckle out of that. Um, that was not my, that was never my plan. We were running at a decent pace. You know, I was working hard, she was working hard. <laughs> so, um, you know, there's really no point in passing. I hung in there and then, um, you know, kind of kind of played tag team with uh, Service Road again. So kind of closing, closing the race up here, uh, we finished up on a Service Road and then uh, there was a, a split where the bikers went straight and then the runners took, went to the right. <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> we, uh, at this point, were kind of coming down the switchbacks you know you can kind of see the valley you got you know some views that we were up pretty high and then that we were coming down low um and so uh, at some point that should open up to kind of that uh start finish area so this is maybe mile mile nine or so progress comes to an absolute halt because um this little path that they had us go down um became this uh, almost like stone steps going down. So throwing caution, throwing, pulling, pulling the caution card out, decided to uh, watch the footing, slow down, you know, like toe tap where I could just to try to get to the next uh, big, you know, official step days. Um, and my wife will tell you that I am not, not great at all going downhill. Be it our running downhill or hiking downhill or any sort of downhill, I am not good at downhill at all. I almost fall on my butt every time. Fortunately, did not. Not today. Today was not the day to fall on the butt. Uh, eventually, this thing spilled out. Um, you can kind of, then all of a sudden, you can see the start, the start stop. Um, you, you know, I have this thing about cowbells. And when I hear cowbells, it's like, oh, buddy, it's game on. It's game time. Let's go, let's go. So we heard the cowbells, and then I saw, you know, the, the checkered flag, and um, there was like an opportunity to kind of step it out a little bit, um, kind of going downhill again. But you know, there's jump, a little bit of jumping and leaping and bounding involved. I don't know if they got that on a photo or video, but uh, we'll see. They just kind of just kind of hightail it through the start stop, <laughs> and because it was still a downhill. Uh, you know, I was I was moving and grooving, so I just kept, kept kept the pace going there for a little bit, about 20 yards or so, <laughs> and uh, I eventually stopped my watch. I, uh, one of the volunteers comes up to me and says, "Oh yeah, I thought you were just gonna head all the way. You're gonna finish this race and then keep going all the way down the hill back to your car. You know, you should come back. <laughs> Give me your tab." So I gave him the tab off my bib. And he hooks me up with this sweet metal. There it is. All right, I think it's a bottle opener. Uh, first place guy, second place guy, and I don't know the official standings, but I believe I was the third place male overall. Um, that lady that I was, uh, you know, kind of, kind of following along with there. I think she was the first place lady, but you know, we'll see the results um, probably on the on the website at, at some point. I don't know, these smaller runs, like I give grace to um, their efforts and everything. They're just doing it the best they can. So, you know, we find out our standings and results, that's great. If not, that's cool, that's okay too. So, all right. Let's go home, hang out with the family. You know, maybe stretch out, foam roll a little bit if I can. You know, get cleaned up. Because, um, you know, life doesn't stop. Life does not stop just because, you know, dad's off running a, a trail race and stuff. 
No, it does not. And uh, I believe we're gonna see some Christmas lights today. Heck yeah, man. So, I am very grateful for uh, you guys watching. Um, thank you so much for going on this journey with me. I know it probably wasn't the most cinema, you know, the best, the best running vlog, the best racing vlog there is, but, um, you know, I'm working on it here. So thanks for bearing with me and I appreciate your time and watching up into this point. So yes, you can, you can do anything, 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 anything. Yes, you can. Oh.